Create a master page named Content MP to present the content. A master page is defined by a header, a footer, and the page properties. In the header, insert a table having one row and two cells. Insert in the first cell a text element with a static content. The second cell will contain the current heading of level 1 from DOS main module. For this, create a new variable named current heading. Drop the variable inside the second cell. Go back in the template content tab and insert a container to assign the current heading to the newly created variable. From the contextual menu, go to the edit assignment option. Add current heading variable and from the script expression tab, expand the attribute node to select the level and object heading attributes and write the script. Go back in the master page to format the header section. Select the table and set the following properties. Bottom cell border color to black. Bottom cell border style to single. Bottom cell border width to 1 Table out of it to out of it to window And resize the fit content to false With the first cell selected, set the cell width property to 200 and the bold flag to true. For the second cell, set the cell alignment to center right. In the footer we will set the page number. Insert a new paragraph that will hold a static text element with pages value, a page number element, the static text of, and the total pages number element. Select the header and set the font size to 10 and the font family to Arial. Make the same modifications to the footer element.
Go back in the template content editor to add some modifications. To view a different chapter in the master page, we have to force the master page to change each time an object heading of level 1 is displayed. Select the paragraph with the master page and in the properties view go to Formatting Common Force Page Change. Create a script expression to change the page when the object level is 1. Save the template and run the document specification. This time you don't need to configure the data sources because they are already configured from the last time. As we've said before, we will have to display the table header only one time. Add the condition on the container element from the table. Insert the container as the first element in the template. Add a paragraph inside it with a static text, Table of Contents. Set the font size to 24 on the paragraph. From the palette or from the contextual menu, insert a table of contents under the paragraph. Insert a container before table of contents container. Set the name to be title page. We want to have the title page on a separate page, so between the title container and the table of contents container, we have to insert a page break element. Insert three paragraphs into the title page container. In the first one, set the static text Extract all system requirements. The second one displays the author name. For this we have to create an external variable author to set the name of the author at runtime. In the third one use the script expression to display the current date. Next, we will set the title page formatting. 
For the first paragraph, first set the title style from the contextual menu. Then set spacing before spacing to 200. For the second paragraph, set spacing before spacing to 50. And the alignment, paragraph alignment property to right. For the third paragraph, we will set alignment, paragraph alignment property to right. Save your work and go in the launcher perspective. Under the Variables node, in the Document Specification view, fill the author name value. For Word output, select the stylesheet from the installation folder and optionally choose a path for the output document. If the path is empty, RPE will automatically create the output document in your temp folder. To update the table of contents, use the PE update fields macro which is defined in rpe.stylesheet. Run the document specification. More information, tutorials and videos about Rational Publishing Engine can be found on www.reportingarena.com.